Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Okay, it's been a while since I did an Ubuntu video, so I'm going to go ahead and do one today on showing how to insert a dock. Many people saw the Mac OS type of dock, so I've got this website that you can go and download the dock that I used previously in my video. So here's the URL, okay, so you can write that down and go there. I'm using Ubuntu version 9.04, and of course I'm running uh, an AMD platform but also Intel they have both versions there and you can go ahead and download that from there and after you've downloaded it and click on the uh, package to download it will ask you if you want to run it with uh, the default installer and uh, that's what I did I just let it uh, do its thing and press OK and let it launch the installer so the installer will uh, tell you of course what's in the package what it's about and this is the Avant window navigator this is going to allow us to have basically that dock at the bottom of your screen, right? And um, it's the most popular dock that you've got for Ubuntu right now. Once you install it, it's going to be here under Accessories. It's called Event Window Navigator. And when you click on that, it'll launch it. And there it is at the bottom. So you can see it now that you've got a dock. Now, of course, it's very basic. It's very flat. So we got to go into the dock preferences and tweak it a little bit, change the appearance, change the colors change the way it looks, add more shortcuts, and go through everything slowly. So for example, change it from flat bar to 3D look, right? So now it's more of like a 3D um, uh, side look. And then of course the colors, you gotta change the colors a little bit so you can see it. So I'll go through adjusting it back and forth until I get it the way I like. So you can start seeing the, uh, the dock there. It's starting to look better as I go and adjust things. It only takes a few minutes, right? The whole thing, I set it up, you can do this whole thing in about 10 minutes. Go to the website, download it, install it, change the colors, change the way it looks, add a few more shortcuts on that uh, dock. Uh, there's some pre-made shortcuts, they call them applets, that you can activate by just selecting them and adding them to the dock automatically. So you just go and select and scroll down and just keep adding them and they'll automatically appear on the dock. Almost like, um, like uh, docklets, I guess, if you want to call them. And um, once you've added them, you'll see them all at the bottom. So like a shutdown shortcut, uh, your trash can shortcut, all of that will be uh, at the bottom on the dock. And then later on, you can even change the icons for everything too. These are the default icons for all of these types of shortcuts, but you can change them and change the whole thing around. So there, there's, a, there's a dock. Quickly, to show you, that's how it looks. There's a weather one. There's a trash can, some stacks show desktop, exit, log out, a whole bunch of different ones that you can add yourself on there. Of course, you can put uh, different ones and tweak them. These are pre-made um, docklets that you can go ahead and modify things. But um, if you just wanted to add a shortcut of a Firefox, for example, then you can just drag and drop the shortcut right onto the, um, onto the dock, right? So that's not a big deal. Now, um, when, when you go to change things, always right click. Just remember that, right click and you'll be able to get to the preferences for either that shortcut or the dock itself or you can click on this icon at the very end there and that takes you into the AWN manager and it allows you to uh, tweak it, right? So you can actually get themes and patterns and different types of stuff for the actual dock itself. And that's very simple, you just go to GNOME dash look.org for example and you can look for uh, themes from there and then add them in here and change it around if you want but it comes with one theme by default the dark one that I just showed you so that's the one that it comes with and uh, those are the general settings the general stuff that there is uh, for you to uh, to use so there it is pretty decent dock uh, looks nice configurable and there's my cube the 3d cube and you can see the dock appears on the bottom of the 3d cube and uh, it appears, of course, on all four sides of the cube, not just on one side. And it's fast, very smooth. And, um, and I was able to obviously record while using this at the same time. So it's uh, not that resource uh, intensive on the CPU, which is pretty good. So they've obviously done some updates to it since the last time that I tried it. So anyways, uh, Ubuntu video, there you go. For uh, all you who uh, was wondering how to add that on your version of Ubuntu. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have version 
3.04 like I have, you can have an older version of Ubuntu. It works just as good. Just make sure you download the appropriate version from the website. Okay, alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.